The Simpsons may be known for its huge gags, crazy storylines, and eerie predictions, but what makes the show so relatable is the fact that it is somewhat grounded in reality. Take for example the main characters and residents of Springfield who, despite their quirks and eccentricities, have some form of relatability and sometimes even familiarity. That is partly down to the fact that a number of the characters are based on real people. And that's a worrying thought seeing as these inspirations include real life doctors, politicians, athletes, actors, and business tycoons. But which real life people are we talking about exactly? Well, let's find out. Rainer Wolfcastle. Let's start out with an obvious one, and there are no points awarded for guessing that Hollywood superstar Rainer Wolfcastle is based on another Hollywood superstar, Arnold Schwarzenegger. McBain's muscle-clad figure and Austrian-sounding accent is certainly reminiscent of Schwarzenegger, and let's face it, so are the cheesy action movies he appears in. To be honest, it's easy to forget that McBain is not actually an Arnie role, although seeing the governator as a superhero like Radioactive Man would have been awesome. Maybe they can re cast Arnold Schwarzenegger as Adam Smasher in the new Black Adam movie, huh? And then he'd become at Dem Smasher, huh? Adam? At Dem? Huh? You know, cause that's what Wolfcastle says? That's the joke. You suck, McBain! When it comes to a man who blocked out the sun, tried several times to murder members of the Simpson family, stole puppies to turn them into a fur coat, and caused numerous ecological disasters, you kind of hope that they are not based on a real person. But of course, Mr. Burns wouldn't be on this list if that were the case, with Graining confirming that Mr. Burns was an excellent parody of the one-time world's richest man, John D. Rockefeller. But that isn't the only tycoon that Mr. Burns is based on with the show's animator David Silverman claiming he based the look on the former head of Fox Broadcasting, Barry Diller, and a praying mantis. I mean, yeah, I can see it. Aw, oh, is there a miserable barman and victim of constant prank phone calls we love more than Mo Sislak? Yeah, I thought not. But have you looked at the face that even a mother would struggle to love and say, is it just me or does he remind me of someone else? Well, if you have, that's because the inspiration of Mo comes from stand-up comedian Rich Hall, who is well known for his dark subject matter and bleak outlook on life. Sounds familiar, right? Hall had long suspected he was the inspiration for Mo, as he used to collaborate with one of the show's writers, George Mayer, and Graining reportedly even confirmed that he was indeed Mo's inspiration to Hall himself. If you're having trouble seeing the resemblance though, Hall even dressed up as Mo for a photo shoot, all but proving that he really is the one and only Mo. Now, if you're a fan of the show, you will likely know that the core family were inspired by Matt Groening's own family, with a father named Homer, a mother named Margaret, and younger sisters called Lisa and Maggie. Although, for the sake of disclosure, Groening was quick to stress that his family, especially his dad Homer, are nothing like their on-screen counterparts, with Homer Groening's only similarities with Homer Simpson being a love of donuts. Donut. Let's face it, who doesn't love donuts? But voice actor Dan Castellanella also had a real life inspiration when it came to the voice, acting legend Walter Matthau. Matthau was known for his work alongside another legend, Jack Lemmon, more on him later. They often played grumpy and uptight characters, similar to Homer in the early seasons. Why you little, this is the day I'm gonna kill you! Although the voice and personality did change after the first couple of seasons, you can definitely hear the similarities. When it comes to this next entry, not only is Mayor Quimby based on two people, but he's based on two people from the very same family. That family, of course, are the Kennedys. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys! What? In regards to Quimby's voice, it is most certainly based on former President JFK, but the main inspiration for the character comes from his younger brother, Senator Ted Kennedy. Now, while a corrupt, womanizing mayor who's embroiled in many a scandal isn't necessarily a character that you want to be associated with, especially if you are also a politician, Senator Kennedy seemingly embraced the character as he campaigned to have his home state of Massachusetts, Springfield, be identified as the real-life version of the show's hometown. He even offered Quimby to visit the town so they could both chow down on some chowda, as nothing can go wrong when it comes to chowda, huh, right? 
Again, there are no points on who soft-spoken yet ferocious boxer Dredrick Tatum is based on. Tatum is an almost a spot-on caricature of Mike Tyson. You know what's great there is the sea bass. They do it blackened or sauteed. It's stupendous. Although Tyson apparently wasn't aware of Tatum's existence until someone eventually told him. Tyson was far from shocked though, as he is used to being parodied, and it was certainly not the last time that Tyson appeared in animated form. Although if Tyson is looking for another exhibition bout, maybe he too can take on Homer in a fight. Now that will make some serious money. Homer loves donuts, Barney loves beer, Milhouse loves Alf Pogs, Principal Skinner loves steamed hams, and Auto Man loves rack music. So it's no surprise that Otto's likeness is based on rock legend and Guns N' Roses guitarist Saul Hudson, better known as Slash. And now that I can see the similarities, I genuinely doubt that I'm gonna be able to unsee it. Just imagine, having Slash as your bus driver though? Yeah, that would be awesome. Slash wasn't the only person Otto was based on, with his look also taken from former Simpsons writer Wallace Wolodarski. So when I say, hi, my name's Troy McClure, I can guarantee your mind goes straight to, you'll remember me from such films as, and then two random titles. But you might have also wondered, who exactly is Troy McClure based on? Well, he is in fact based on two different B actors, Troy Donahue and Doug McClure respectively. Like Ted Kennedy, Doug McClure seemed to embrace the parody, with the actor being a fan of the show and even laughing when his daughter called him Troy as a joke. Unfortunately though, both actors have passed away, so we will likely never see a live action Planet of the Apes musical. Like Dan Castanella using Hollywood legend Walter Matthau as inspiration for Homer, voice actor Hank Azaria also used a Hollywood legend, Edward G. Robinson, as his inspiration for Chief Wiggum. Robinson was best known for his tough guy gangster roles in movies like Little Caesar, but also played a few police officers in his time, and it was these roles that served as the foundations for Azaria's performance for the inept Chief Wiggum. The Simpsons even took this to a meta level when, in a treehouse of horror, episode, Wiggum and Robinson accuse each other of being ripoffs. Ah, you ripped me off, see? No, I didn't, see? If you were in a hospital needing some sort of life-saving surgery, the last words that you probably want to hear when the doctor enters the room is, Hi, everybody! Thankfully, The Simpsons' Dr. Nick is a work of fiction, but his name is actually based on a real-life doctor. Dr. George Nicopolis, also known as Dr. Nick, was the doctor for music legend Elvis and quickly became a highly controversial figure due to Elvis's untimely death. Although, despite having the same name and profession, the comparison seemingly ends there. Seeing as I have some time, I wanted to give all you cool cats and kittens a bonus entry. Did I seriously just quote Carol Baskin? Am I even allowed to do that? Anyway, if you are like me, you'll find clowns absolutely terrifying. Take Pennywise, and the one my mother hired for my sixth birthday party, for example. But if there is one clown that's actually okay, it is Krusty the Clown in The Simpsons. Krusty does have a very scary clown inspiration though in the all too real Rusty Nails clown that Graining used to watch as a kid, but Krusty's personality and backstory was actually based on US comic Jackie Mason, with both of them having an orthodox rabbi for a father. Ooh, another piece of trivia for ya. Ever noticed that Krusty and Homer look similar? Well that's because in an early draft of the show, Homer was actually Krusty, although his biggest fan Bart was none the wiser, making it ironic that his hero was secretly his father. Oh, what might have been. Ooh, before we go, while a number of characters were based on real people, some characters were also parodies of other pop culture characters. Take uh, hapless salesman Gil, who was based on Jack Lemmon's performance as the machine in Glengarry Glen Ross, neither of whom could catch a break. 